No, I don't waste no time What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I run a social media marketing agency and I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to actually get your first client, start your own agency and basically you know scale it so that you can live life on your own terms. And a few weeks back, um, I've actually already posted two videos about the coronavirus. Shouldn't probably be posting more content about this, you know, I feel like everyone is now talking about it and it's getting to the point where it's almost boring. Like when I now look at my, uh, basically my subscriber feed, I don't really subscribe to a lot of uh, channels anyway, but the channels that I do subscribe to are obviously all like entrepreneur based, business based, etc. Um, and, you know, everyone is now talking about the coronavirus. And it's getting to the point now where I, when it just started, I was clicking on all of them. I wanted to know everything that everyone was saying on it. And I was like, oh, another video about the coronavirus. You know, when is it going to stop? And I feel like we're just all like basically, um, you, you know, it's everyone's talking about it. And because everyone's talking about it, you know, you, you start to stress out about it as well and think about the consequences of it. And obviously the news is not, you know, and don't get me wrong, it's a very serious matter. And um, I do think that we need to flatten the curve and especially that like the physical, what do you call it, like social distancing and stuff. Like that, I think that is essential for this uh, to basically, you know, uh, slow down so that, you know, obviously um, the, all like the, the doctors, the NHS, etc., you know, can basically handle the workload. But with that said, you know, like I said, all the news surrounding it is very, very negative. And, um, you know, there's, there's also businesses that are trying to take advantage of it. And then there's people saying that they shouldn't because it's unethical, etc. And with everything that's going on, I do think that we just need to look at the practicalities of it. And I do not think it is selfish to think about what the impact will be on you and your business. Uh, so definitely do not feel bad if you are basically, you know, now pivoting or basically changing your business model uh, because of this coronavirus, because, you know, as a business owner, it is in your right, um, you know, to basically maximize the uh, result that you get for your business. Uh, with that said, quick side note, if you are now planning on basically selling masks or, um, you know, like the dental, uh, like, you know, basically the, the hand uh, cream and stuff, don't because Facebook will ban your account that they are literally doubling down on stuff like this and they do not want you to be promoting stuff like that or using discount code COVID-19 for 90% off, so stuff like that. Facebook will ban your account and you will do more harm than good. And uh, yeah, so just, just don't do that, okay? But like I said, you know, it is in your right to maximize uh, the results that you're getting during this time. And a lot of business owners um, or social media agency owners, I should say, um, are now obviously you know, pivoting towards uh, more online type businesses. Uh, they're leaving like the brick and mortar businesses, etc. And you know, we uh, too, you know, as a agency, we've had a couple of uh, clients uh, pause the contract. Um, we've even had one client leave us because of all this. Um, the client that left was basically a restaurant, tapas restaurant, and um, they were quite early to like the whole uh, like pivoting their business model. And before it actually got that bad, the UK based, before it actually got really bad, they already said, listen, we want to start uh, promoting our meals on Uber Eats because we think or we are afraid that soon we need to shut down because of all of this. Um, so they were quite early to make that decision, which we thought was great. You know, we thought, OK, let's just allocate the budget towards uh, basically getting more people to order off of Uber Eats. Um, but even that, they just said, listen, you know, we don't really know what's going to happen. We are unsure about things. Um, you know, it's it's going to be hard. We need to shut shop, shut up shop. So, um, you know, we are going to now pause um, or basically stop. You know, the ads and unfortunately also stop working with us as an agency. So again, no hard feelings because you know they are it, it's in their right to basically stop that, and we would never hold that against them. We wouldn't tell them to um, I hold you know uh, to the contract or anything like that. So obviously, you know, we said, okay, you know, fine, we'll tear up the contract. And if in the future, you know, everything is up and running again and this all blows over, then, you know, we're more than happy to uh, basically, you know, pick up where we left off or just start with new uh, a new agreement or arrangement. So um, obviously, you know, you now need to start pivoting towards uh, businesses that are still up and running. And you just need to think to yourself, okay, what kind of business is now thriving? What kind of business is now 
still alive but may need some help what kind of business can you actually provide value to because at the end of the day yes you are earning money from this and you might think that is unethical or there's some kind of guru online that's saying it's unethical but you are doing them a service you know you are helping that business grow through these times you know through these times of uncertainty and in my opinion it is in your right it is your duty to actually help these businesses and yes you know you get paid for it but so what you know that's what entrepreneurship is about you know if you can get paid to get the client a result that he's happy with then it is in your right to do that and you'll be doing them a disservice if you would not offer your services to that business so you just need to think to yourself okay what kind of business can I now help during these times and what kind of business is still open during these times because if that business isn't open then obviously you can't help them you know it's it's too late for them so think to yourself okay what kind of business is now still thriving or is now still um you know, up and running so local events event managers uh, local restaurants um possibly gyms etc you know they might now be out of the picture because like i said they are all shut in most of the countries again um if you now look at so at the time of recording this it is the 28th of march and you know already signs are now popping up that asia is almost back to normal again again depending on what kind of uh news source you use some newspapers say that you know it's worse than ever and then when you go directly to the source you can see that wuhan is almost back to normal again uh, large parts of singapore are back to normal again as if it's you know as if it never happened so you know obviously those with those countries you can still target the local businesses but for us in the sort of west you know the us europe etc that is as of now not the case so you need to think okay well i can't reach out to local events i can't reach out to local businesses what can i reach out to or who can i reach out to well for example e-commerce you know e-commerce online web shops they are still up and running because they do not require local people to physically go into a store because everything is online so we can reach out to those type of businesses what else um subscription services SaaS companies you know um what else content based companies so maybe online courses info products um online personal trainers or businesses that are pivoted to the online world for example my local gym now although they are short they are actually um basically haven't because my gym is like a, a sports center where it's not only a gym they've also got a uh, yoga they've got um you know all all these like classes uh pilates and stuff like that and they are now doing those classes online so you can actually watch them on youtube and basically do it from the comfort of your own home so they've pivoted so I could actually still reach out to them and say, listen, I can actually help you with all of this because I am an online marketer. But again, you know, if that is not the case, then you know you will need to look at other businesses, like I said, SaaS, apps, even content-based companies, info product-based companies, and e-commerce. So if they are selling online and they don't have a physical store, or if nothing has shut down for them, obviously, you know, you do need to take into consideration that um the dropship stores or these low these these web shops, they might have import issues or they might uh, drop ship their products from China uh, from a part that is still under quarantine or still is under lockdown or anything like that. So that is something that you do need to take into consideration. But other than that, you know, that is basically a um, a niche or an, an industry that you can reach out to um, without basically having any effect of the coronavirus. Now, with that said, obviously, um, everyone in, like I said, you know, the countries like Europe and in the US are under lockdown, quarantine. Um, you know, there's where they are basically forced to stay at home for a period of time. And these people are now bored. So we've got the local businesses that have shut down and we've got people that are online or at home, bored. And what you do when you're bored, you go online, you scroll on social media, you go on Facebook, you go on Instagram, etc. So what impact does that have on, for example, Facebook ads, which is what we offer? Well, first of all because these local businesses etc have basically shut up shop they will not be advertising on facebook which means that there's less people competing for the same amount of media space which also means that the cost per click and the cost per thousand impressions will go down so where you know you used to have to pay let's say 10 euros or 10 pounds to reach a thousand people you now may only need six pounds or six euros to reach those people because there's less people competing for the same amount of space with that said because more people are now online there will be more impressions available and there's basically more people that you can reach so more people you can reach 
less people competing, which means that though for the businesses that are still up and running and are still advertising on Facebook, they will actually thrive. So you need to find those businesses and either augment their services by helping them out or show businesses that don't really understand what they need to do, how to do it. And both of those businesses, you can make a lot of money and you can ask for a nice retainer in return. Okay, so that is basically the way you need to look at it. And with that said, Obviously, there is a lot of uncertainty in the world right now. We know I even I I don't know what is going to happen. I don't know how long it's going to take. For all we know, it will be over in two weeks from now, or you know this might be how we are living life. You know for the rest of the year, we do not know. And you know obviously there is so much data, and I, I don't know how many of those extrapolation charts I've seen over the last uh, few days or last week. But, you know, there's, we can look at the data as much as we can, and I do highly recommend you do that. You know, obviously, I'm just giving my two cents here. You need to look at the data for yourself and decide for yourself what is best for you at that moment in time. But with that said, it is only data, and we are extrapolating data. We don't actually know what is going to happen. So, you know, there is a lot of uncertainty, and that will mean that in the short term, definitely, a lot of businesses might be guarding their money and might not be willing to invest in something like Facebook ads if they don't truly trust the process. E-commerce clients, for example, e-commerce businesses, they know that they need paid traffic, paid advertising to thrive and to get sales, okay? They will not survive without paid traffic. So they know how necessary it is to run ads and to run paid traffic. So it's easier for them to make that investment and commitment because they know that that is what they need to do to get to that next level and that next step. Whereas local businesses or businesses that are trying to pivot and they don't really have experience with paid traffic and Facebook ads, etc., they might be more reluctant to do so. And like I said, you know, they will be trying to guard their money as much as possible because they don't know what the future holds for them. Okay, so you know, obviously there's a lot of negatives going on in the world right now but there's also a lot of positives like i said you know businesses are thriving but there's also businesses that aren't surviving and they are you know basically rolling over to die and you know it's like i said it's just unprecedented times we don't really know what's going to happen this is just my two cents take it all with a pinch of salt and just analyze the data for yourself so that you can decide for yourself you know what you should do in this situation uh, from my experience and what we are doing as an agency as well is we are now focusing solely on e-commerce. We focused on that in the past. We've gotten good results for that in the past. We've had our little uh, little stints where we've basically done lead generation for local businesses. We've gotten insane results. By the by the way, we are still getting great results for our local dentists, which is strange because I thought dentists were short, but uh, we reached out to both our dentist clients and we said, "What's going on?" Okay, so my camera was actually full there, but here we are again. So like I said, you know, we've asked both of our dentist clients, you know, what is going on? Um, are you guys still open? Are you guys still you know, open for business, etc.? And they both assured me that they are still open and they are still taking in clients, etc. Um, obviously, you know, they are taking their own uh, like cautionary measures and, you know, making sure that everything is clean and sterilized, etc. But they are still open. And because less people are comp competing with them, for the same media space, you know, we've noticed that the CPM has gone down and the CPL cost per lead has gone down as well, which means that they are still, you know, actually thriving, um, even though, you know, like I said, there's times of uncertainty. But like I said, guys, this is just all my opinion. Analyze the data for yourself and decide for yourself what the best thing is to do. For those who that are looking into social media marketing and basically, you know, want to look into the what is possible with the online world, how it is to work from home full time, etc. Check out my free Facebook group. It's called the Lifestyle Design Community. It'll be linked in the description box down below. Uh, check it out. There's a free social media marketing course in there as well, along with a free playbook and also the chance to book a free discovery call with me so that basically I can help you get up and running and get started with your own social media journey. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video. Like this video, got something out of it. By the way, guys, for those of you that aren't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do click on that subscribe button because it really does help this channel grow. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.